What up, what up, y'all? It's your boy AD, and I'm back in here for this Gucci Man. Is it the real Gucci Man, fake Gucci Man, part four? And um, I want to start off this video by pretty much thanking everyone for getting this video out here because this was, you know, something that I really wanted to do because it caught my eye and it caught my attention. I've been doing this for a long time, talking about real things when it comes to the industry and what people do and all that. And this is the first video I ever made that really, really kind of got out there. So I appreciate it. You know, 14,000 views, you know, and all these other ones are starting to build. And the thank you, you know, I've been reading all the comments. I've been trying my best. It's a lot. It's a whole lot. It's a lot. Big rush. I'm getting all types of stuff and people saying stuff. I'm getting hate. But, you know, it's not about the hate. It's about, you know, people who like what I do. And I just want to tell y'all real quick, thank y'all. And I appreciate it. Now look, let's get into this. Oop. Hold on. I'm forgetting where I'm clicking. Ah. Alright. Alright, now let's get up into this, man. Because, uh, I'm sorry, y'all, man. But this is real, man. I know people want to know, like, is it a clone? Is he real? Is he replaced? And all this. But my job is just to let you know it's not him. Could it be a clone? It could be. Do I think it is? I don't really think so, but I don't have no full proof, but I'm just being honest and telling y'all. And this stuff is just getting ridiculous. Like, I knew this was going to happen. Look, oh, birthday bash. Oh, see, now they done got you so sprung off him all slowly. Now they want, now he's finna do a show. I mean, let's just take a look at this. Yes? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I mean, if this ain't funny, I don't know what funny is. That's supposed to be him, right? But this is some, I mean, come on, man. Take a bubble bath. This was somebody who was hood. How do you go from hood to taking bubble baths? Get real. Man, I ain't took a damn bath in years, man. I take showers. I'm, I don't take fucking baths, okay? What the fuck? And I don't think the real Gucci would either. I'm coming. Is the water hot? I hope it's hot, man. The water is perfect. It's perfect, baby. <laughs> See, there y'all go. See, now they finally finna bring him out. And people not even gonna know that's not him because we live in a world where most people don't even pay attention to people and what stuff is about. We live in a world where people can be fake as hell and get away with shit because most of these people nowadays, stars and shit, is fake. You know, that's why they can pull shit like this on you, especially when you know it ain't him. Come on now. And his girl, like, come on, does she really gotta look like that? Like, you sporting her too hard. Like, she is not all that. <laughs> look at all these people paying money to see this fake dude who not even real. Like, that's the that's the setup, y'all. Now they got y'all, man. Now they got them on stage robbing people now. <laughs> I know y'all hear how he sound, right? Come on, y'all. Come on, man. Check this out. Now, this is 2007, back when Gucci was slimmer. And tell me this is the real Gucci. Because people be like, oh, he slimmed down. Well, look. Look at this back in the day. Look at this. What about this? Explain this, huh? You man, watch the DVD, man. For real, man. Dude, man. Real talk. I got my head to the street, so if you say anything about me, fuck you. <laughs> you feel like I heard you. Even though you think I heard you. Completely different person, right? I know y'all feel me on this. You know, skip the haters. Because I know it's a lot of haters coming here. Skip this, man. I told you what my job is to do. Me and Dennis finna do five in a row. You see, we get this shit together for the DVD. Free. As you can see, he's slim. But why does he still look the same, y'all? Uh-huh. Yeah. He's slim. Scooch, 
so hard, nigga. Feel so hard. Swag up, nigga. Boss up, nigga. Man up. Put your man up flat. Put your chin up. And then people, oh, I can't stand the ones that come in my comments and be like, oh, how you gonna say he thirsty? Uh, cause I know Gucci been around hella strippers and women before and never act thirsty. Like in this video that he's making right here is hella stripper girls around. Why is Gucci not acting thirsty? Oh, I'm over 25 right now. I got one in the house too and then I didn't kill and then last night you got my head. He acting cool as hell. Cool as hell. Like he always was. <laughs> Look at all these bad strippers around. Where's the thirstiness at? Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. All right. What else I want to show y'all? Because y'all know I ain't got a lot of time. What's up with this video? When uh somebody asks Waka about, they, because people say, oh, they was tight. Like, man, maybe they was really falling out. And maybe Gucci really was flipping. Because watch this. Why, watch what happens when somebody asks him about him. Did you do the round shirt? Yeah. I got somebody to sit up. All right, well, they come back here to do it. No, the dude over here. The dude that was sitting right here. He said, he, I got something I need to see him by a certain time. All right, what the hell is this? We're going to go back on the air right now. Uh, oh, what the hell? What the hell was that? Yes, he just got up and walked out. And I don't know, man. The way he reacted, it, it, it kind of seemed real the way he reacted. Like, he didn't want to talk about that. You know, maybe he could be really just didn't want to talk about that. You know, something else to think about. Maybe he really did have beefs out here, basically what I'm trying to explain. Because people... It's like, y'all need to really understand this, yo. Like, we live in a world where they will fake and do anything to you. Most of these shows, TV shows, everything is fake in this world. Come on, people got to wake up. Like, in, in fall, we know, you know, it's people out here, who, like I said, who could be going against us. People change, and now, look, they, they replaced him. A good example is the movie Pootie Tang. I should have put that up here. I know y'all seen that movie. Remember how when they tried to get Pootie Tang, well, yeah, to do, to promote drugs and all that other stuff. Remember how he didn't want to do it. So what they do, they replaced his ass. And you see they had like, man, they had about, man, a whole bunch of uh, fake lookalikes in him. So that's something that I should have threw up here, but just something to think about too. Remember the movie Pootie Tang? Remember how he stepped out his boundaries and they were quick to replace him. And remember how Pooty was just sitting back looking at all this fakeness going on and he had no way of speaking for himself because, you know, we, you know, we as people, we don't control the internet and the mainstream and the news and, you know, how information gets out. You know, stuff like YouTube and stuff, that's all we got. So, another thing I want to show y'all is a comment that somebody left me that I think y'all should check out. Because this is, I, I've been trying, I still haven't gone through all the comments. But this one was good to show. Check this out. It's from LaPria Epps. She says, voice is changing because he's sober? Question mark. My nigg, my father was a drug user. He got sober many times though. Voice never changed. He also was a jailbird. He never changed from jail. Yeah, he got older, but truth about niggas who go to jail all the time, they get stuck. They don't mature easily in jail. Are y'all listening to what she's saying? They, they, what? They dope and gain wisdom. But anybody who know a nigga who been to jail know they battle because when, when they home, they try to relieve lost time. So listen, so all this jail made Gucci a better person is just brainwashing. They wanted to get in black men's head. If you go to jail, you will get made a better person. Come home, fucking a fine bitch and healthy. They want to brainwash Gucci fans. Yeah, come to jail and you will come out richer and cool like Gucci man. This is bullshit. Go to jail in, in Hollywood and find out then. So just think about that. This is brainwashing. Oh, go to jail. You come out a better person knowing damn well the jail system is meant to fuck us up and put black men in jail. That's what the jail system is for. And I'm going to end it with this, y'all. And yes, more to come. And keep the comments coming. Got to find some more stuff. Holla.